The Department of Workforce Solutions has been slammed recently with unemployment claims. Applicants in Santa Fe who have been unable to reach anyone from their own phone has had to come down to the department to use one of the six phones available there. A man named Code, waiting outside for Workforce Solutions to open, says that the staff here have been very helpful and competent. That is, when he finally speaks to someone about his claim, which can take hours. Right now, I'll be waiting for about three hours to get on the phone, then wait two hours when I'm on the phone. Another customer, John, also arrived early at the department to use a phone. I'm standing in line for at least an hour, and it's at least an hour and a half wait once you're on a phone. Workforce Solutions say they have come up with a solution to this problem and will add an additional 815 phone lines. Carrie Moritomo, the department spokesperson, describes the upgrades. Well, we are very excited to be able to spend some of our stimulus dollars that we receive from the federal government to do some improvements for the unemployment insurance call center. Uh, in the next few months, we will be able to increase the number of phone lines that we have available. Right now, we have 184, and we will be expanding that to 999. We also will be implementing a toll-free number. Anybody right now who lives outside the Albuquerque area has to pay a long-distance charge to call the call center. So with the toll-free number uh, statewide, it will be free of charge. Uh, We also will be implementing a lot of self-service kind of functions with the call center. We've discovered that the majority of our customers are really just checking on the status of their claim. You know, did you get my information? Am I going to be paid? When am I going to be paid? How am I going to be paid? Those kinds of questions. So we are going to, through our um, addition of phone lines, have a huge self-service function. So people won't actually need to speak to a customer service representative. They will be able to do that kind of stuff all by themselves. The addition of phone lines does not necessarily mean the addition of customer representatives. The new lines will allow applicants to certify through an automated system without speaking to an actual person. Well, actually, when people certify, they don't even speak to a customer service representative. Currently, it is an automated system as well. And um, they go through a series of, I believe, seven or nine questions. And um, But they're, you know, they are continuing to compete for the same 184 lines. So um, with the additional 900, uh, or basically additional 800 lines that we will be adding, um, that's another one of those self-service kind of functionalities. Um, so they will be uh, doing their certification on the phone, uh, but not competing for that, that small amount of phone lines. The new system is modeled after systems used in other states that have been successful, including California, Colorado, and Florida. Well, we actually have been doing some research for the past few months looking at best practices for other states, uh, looking at what's working, uh, what kind of vendors, what kind of um, systems that they are using. And we have uh, completed our research and selected those areas and those uh, services that we feel are very successful for other unemployment agencies uh, throughout the nation, and those are the kinds of things that we will be implementing here. Maury Tomo says the new phone lines and toll-free numbers should be implemented by late February or early March. She suggests that in the meantime, applicants use their website where they can start a new claim, certify weekly benefits, or apply for extended benefits at www.dws.state.nm.us. Well, people who um, are having difficulty reaching us, I would like to promote that we do have the website. People can apply online. They also can do their certifications online. Certification online is actually the preferred method. The day before Christmas was a mandatory furlough day for Workforce Solution employees. John said that week was particularly busy. It was out of control. It was, I mean, it was this room right now. You're actually able to walk around in here. Last week it was not possible. January 15th is the next scheduled furlough day. Carrie Moritomo says Workforce Solution employees will not be exempt, but they will increase staff for the days before and after. Well, we have um, increased our staffing levels, pulled people who used to be in the call center and re Uh, designated them to assist in the days prior as well as the days afterwards of the furlough. Um, But we are like any other state agency, and we are sharing in that uh, furlough day. Until the new system is in place, callers will still be urged to use the website, which is available from 3 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. Due to high call volume, all available phone lines are in use. You may file your new claim or weekly certification on the Internet at www.dws.state.nm.us.
dot us. Please try your call again later. For KSFR News, I'm Rachel Kennedy.